Strangely enough, a ton of people have asked for a video about my protective gear. So here we go. hard to avoid getting any kind of injury when skateboarding. Unfortunately, it's kind of just part of the nature of the sport. And the kind of stuff that we do when skateboarding is very demanding on our bodies. But to me, there is no better reason to try and mitigate my risk for a serious injury than the fact that I don't want to be interrupted. In my short time skateboarding, I've been injured more than once. I've had rolled ankles and torn muscles and stressed joints. I've even had shinners that were so painful it was difficult to walk afterwards. And I don't like pain, so I suit up so that I can skate as uninterrupted as possible. And while the gear does change and a lot of it is negotiable, I just wanna go over some of the pieces that I typically use, my new favorite piece of protective equipment and some other options that you might be interested in. The helmet for me is a non-negotiable item. When I first started skateboarding, I actually didn't always wear it. I didn't even have a helmet when I started, but I quickly made the decision that it just was not worth the risk to skateboard in any style without my helmet on. The brain is arguably the most important part of my body and it needs a hard hat. I just use a Bell helmet that I bought from a local sporting goods store. Nothing fancy. Then I love my shin guards. These are just soccer shin guards that I also bought from a local sporting goods store. And these have saved my legs from so many unnecessary shinners and bruises. I cannot recommend these enough if you're not a fan of shinners. I swear every time that I skateboard for even two minutes without my shin guards on, I get a shinner. So I normally have these on. A good alternative are thick soccer socks special skate socks or freestyle shin guards if you want the whole leg to be covered. Some soccer shin guards have ankle guards for a little extra protection and you can turn the shin guard around to protect the side of your leg during no-handed pogos, which I cannot do. And next we have running gloves. I have tried a couple different pair of gloves, but these underarm running gloves have surprisingly been my favorite pair so far. They just seem to hold up to skateboarding rather well. I like gloves because when you're skateboarding, you fall on the ground a lot and you scrape your palms along concrete and cement and dirt. And I just like having a little bit of cushion, but then also something to protect me so that I'm not bleeding all over the place. And then we have knee pads. These are hard, hard shell knee pads. I actually prefer the soft ones, but they're not quite as comfortable for me. So I've been wearing these and they get the job done. Their best use for me is actually not for falling. It's for protecting me against pop shove -its because I always bruise my knee when I practice my pop shove -its. So I like them just fine. And finally, the one thing you might not have thought of and the thing that I had to go all the way to H Mart to find. Kaitoshi, also known as Kritoshi, also known as cooling sleeves. So when I was living in Korea, a friend's mother actually bought a pair of these for me and made me wear them when we went to go visit a temple together. And this summer, I happened to find the pair that she gave me just by accident. But I needed a new pair, and you might be wondering, what exactly is a cooling sleeve? Well, it's just like sunscreen that you can wear as a sleeve. I have really sensitive skin. I burn in the sunlight very quickly. And so I tend to just put sunscreen on my face, neck and ears and use these to protect my arms. They're just sleeves. You just slip them on like you'd slip on a pair of socks, I suppose. So if you read the package, they're supposed to block out 99.9% .9 of UV rays, but then they also have a nengakyoka, which is kind of like 
a way of cooling the arm. So I believe what they're talking about is they're supposed to be moisture wicking. And I really think they are because you definitely feel cooler the moment you put them on. And I recommend them because there's no skin that offers the same amount of protection against the sun as something like sunscreen or paitoshi. So on to the less exciting stuff. I do prefer gloves to wrist guards, but they're great. And I might use them when I start working on transition. Knee socks or a knee compression sleeve is a great choice for anybody who has weak knees and just wants to feel a little more supported when skateboarding. And the list could go on and on depending on what you want to protect. Like I even used earplugs when I was skating in my basement just because it was so loud down there. But you know, the important thing is getting to know yourself, getting to know what you feel comfortable skating with, and just knowing that you don't have to skate in pain. You can wear whatever protective equipment you want. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it, and I hope to see you next time.